What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this really quick video in relation to my last video regarding about 2k25 builder thoughts now I'll be talking about if pie charts should make a comeback on 2k25 this one here can produce a lot of opinions so after watching, please feel free to leave any feedback about the topic or whatever ideas you want to chip in and by the way, it would be really awesome if you guys can watch the video fully I believe I got some good points on the video so let's get right into it so now for my take, I want pie charts to make a comeback not 100% exactly like 2K20, it could be a mix of 2K20 and 2K21 current gen. If I remember correctly, they offer more pie charts. I know some of you might want to comment now that you hate pie charts, but before you do, please hear me out first, maybe I can change your mind. I've been campaigning this take for some years now, that for an online game to flourish, there has to be an element of diversity. And on 2K terms, it's going to be in the form of build diversity. I just believe that team games like NBA 2K, really need this one to promote teamwork. For me personally, those do-it-all builds ruin the dynamics of the game. Yes, of course, on an individual standpoint, of course it feels good to you know that you can do everything, but the thing about it though is it breaks the balance of the game. Not having pie charts is the main reason why you see a lot of broken things in 2k. This is the reason why you see, you know, 7-footers without speed with ball that can dribble like crazy, or builds that will have one stat super low so they can overkill one stat that can produce super cheesy stuff. All of these things happen because the builder is too open. I just believe that the main use of pie charts is to control the game to prevent it from getting out of hand. I know freedom is good, but sometimes too much freedom can break any game. Because the moment you get too much freedom, we all know how it goes, with how content creation works these days, many things will be broken. If the builder is too open, no matter what type of balancing 2k does, trust me, there will always be a super meta build that everyone will use. I know the pie chart era has some meta builds as well, but they were not too OP to convince a large amount of players to have it. Now, common reaction about this deck is some of you might say, Chutes, I spent X amount of money, I want my build to do everything. I don't want to be a role player. I really know what you mean, trust me, but try to think about this, especially if you play 2k20 or earlier 2ks. Those were the times that we don't have these do-it-all builds, right? But how come we were happy and satisfied during those times? I think we can all agree that those times were the golden age of 2k. So what I'm trying to say here is that we were able to enjoy the game even without these do-it-all builds. It just happened that 2k21 next gen allowed us to have these do-it-all builds, so now players got addicted to it without even thinking what it could do to the game on a bigger scale. I just believe that yeah, if you have a build that can do everything, no doubt it's satisfying individually, but if you look at the bigger picture or the grand scheme of things, it's destroying the whole dynamics of the game it makes everyone play the same. Think about this, I don't think it's a coincidence that the moment 2k opened the builder and took away pie charts, 2k went downhill. And this happened after 2k20. I know there might be some other reasons, but I just believe that opening the builder is one of the major factors. Here's one more common take. Some of you might say, oh toots, what I hate about pie charts is that I can't make a super prime LeBron build. I know what you mean, but in my opinion, those types of builds should be hard to achieve. So in this way, not much players will have it. So for example, back in 2k20, when you reach legend, you'll be rewarded with lots of badges. In this way, you can be a do-it-all build. So that's all for my take. Again, these are just my opinion. So please feel free to leave any feedback on the comment section. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.